Everything about Empirical Spirits is questioning. Questioning the process, what flavors would be traditionally used and how we can make them better, what flavors haven't been used, what equipment you can use for that and whether we need to make new equipment for that process. To just question why flavor isn't something that people can share as much as possible. And that's really our goal. My name is Lars Williams, co-founder of Empirical Spirits based in Copenhagen, Denmark. I came to Copenhagen about nine years ago looking to get a job at restaurant Noma. Basically showed up on the doorstep. They couldn't make me leave for about a month, so they finally hired me. And then the rest is history. Empirical Spirits is based in a large warehouse on the outskirts of Copenhagen. This gives us the room to do everything from the ground up sourcing heirloom barley from other parts of Denmark, making that into koji on site. We use the koji instead of malt, which is traditional beer fermentation. Koji is traditionally used in a sake fermentation. And so for us, this alcoholic fermentation is a sort of mashup of Eastern and Western techniques. For us, innovation is in realizing the variance of nature and having that expressed in our alcohol, where a product that you get in spring will taste different in summer or in fall. And I think the acknowledging of that variance is something that hasn't been done in booze before. For me, going foraging is very important in terms of how you connect to the landscape. It's very easy to get trapped in the tunnel vision when you just have products coming in from a purveyor showing up on your stainless steel bench and trying to figure out something to do with them. It's very important to go out in nature, see what the seasons are bringing, see how they make you feel and want to produce out of them. Our distillation process is a bit different than a traditional one. We distill at 15 degrees centigrade as opposed to 85, what people would typically do for a whiskey or gin distillation. This allows us to preserve the very fresh qualities of our different botanicals, but also maintain the flora compounds and the volatiles that the yeast produces. This is because we're pulling a very heavy vacuum, six to seven tours. We use an ultrasonic fogger, which allows us to both agitate the wash for maximum flavor transfer, but also increase the surface area of the liquid in the greatest possible sense. I think part of our aim and the reason our team gets together is we're maybe a bit disruptive as individuals. Our intent is to disrupt the way that people think about spirits, but more broadly in flavor in general. I think that's our ultimate goal, is having people consider flavor in a very new way.